What's up? Welcome back, family, friends, team, and YouTubers. Today, Lake Placid. All those athletes that have been killing it all summer long are out there doing work today. It's great to see, great to be tracking everybody today. We took a little break last week, week 10 of training. Things just got a little crazy, which we'll get into in a little bit. I think we left off around week nine. We're now over the hump, more than halfway there to Ironman Chattanooga. First full Ironman race attempt. Last week was a little tough. Fortunately, we didn't get too much video out there. It was a lot of solo training. And I think we were just basically at that mental point of training where you're about 10 weeks into this, 10 more weeks to go. Race day is kind of approaching. You can kind of start to see it now. And you're just realizing the totality of this event, the amount of training and sacrifice that has to go in leading up to that. So along with some of that physical stress you have, if you're not used to going to these distances, I really haven't trained past 70.3 distance, is that mental battle. Seeing these 80 mile bikes show up, these 100 mile bikes in a few weeks that are gonna come up. Long training, three, four hour training blocks for one day that you just haven't done before. If I had to do a 70.3 in a week or two, I feel like I'd be ready to be there. So Maine, we're golden, we're good, we're happy that we're gonna be racing in about four to five weeks. We'll be up there for Maine 70.3. But the big day, the big event, we still got about eight solid weeks of training to go. We got out there, we crushed it this week. Awesome group workouts in the last week. We've been doing a lot of hill work in the last two weeks, some tempo hills, some longer runs with hills. Thank you to everybody who's come out. Thank you to the groups that have gotten together. You'll see in the video, it does definitely take a village to get this done. It is so much easier with the support of other athletes and friends who are out there just suffering with the miles with you, whatever it is, whether they're running a marathon and they just can go on their long run with you, if they're training for that half Ironman or just training for fitness, and they can meet you out there for that hour long beginning of your ride. A couple times somebody's met me out there just for that first hour of a three hour bike and that just made all the difference. Being able to have that accountability to wake up, meet somebody and just get it done. We haven't really missed a workout yet. We've been doing three bikes, three runs, two swims a week, daily strength and stretch challenges. Some of these sessions now with the bike are including an extra run afterwards, a brick workout, which is just a couple miles off to get used to running after the bike. But I just wanna take a brief moment to talk about the importance of those smaller one hour workouts throughout the week. Sometimes we can get so into just getting that distance down every week, but sometimes it's those smaller workouts that combined with the bigger workouts is what's gonna hopefully make you have a much better race day and feel much better out there in the course. So something mentally that I've been thinking about, which I just wanna show you real quick, would be to treat every workout as a brick and a wall. But we're just talking about the building blocks of your training plan. So every week there's a certain goal, every workout there's a certain goal, whether it's a six mile easy run, a tempo run, a track interval workout, running a long hill workout, doing a brick workout, it all comes down to building that wall to that day, your goal race, whether it's a half Ironman, a sprint triathlon, a marathon, whatever it is. In our case, it's gonna be our first Ironman. I look at my training plan as a brick wall. Sometimes your workout's a smaller workout, which plays maybe a smaller role in that. You have those longer, larger workouts, which play a much stronger role in your training program. But all built in, week after week, you're just putting all these blocks together, hopefully to support that race day, where you can have that honest effort out there, make your race plan happen the way you want it to happen, and have a great day. The problem lies in when you start missing some of those workouts here, maybe you didn't have, you couldn't accomplish that longer bike workout, just because you didn't want to push a little further. And little by little, it's like the Django effect. You're pulling pieces out of this solid wall. If you do that too much though, and I'm not saying you can't miss a workout here and there. If you're sick or you have a little injury you need to take care of, by all means, you have to take care of that. If it's just because you're lacking the discipline to get to this goal that you want to do and run that race the way you want to, think of the strength loss you're going to have in the journey of that plan to support race day. You're just gonna get to that day, and if you pull too many of these blocks out, it may not support your race day effort. Now, anything can happen. You could put in the work, and I, this is one of the biggest fears. Every single workout, every little one, every big one, not missing one, 20 weeks of solid training, and it just doesn't happen on race day. 
But guess what? At the end of the day though, you know you put in that honest effort and that's kind of what I'm shooting for here. No matter what happens on race day, no matter what the conditions are, if it just doesn't happen or work out the way I wanted it to on race day, I can look back and honestly say, I put in the work, I put in the effort, and I got to race day feeling strong. So that's the goal. That's what we're working on right now. That's just kind of how visually I see my training. To structure the training and how I'm, I'm dealing with work and life and kids, which, excuse me if you hear a little noise in the background, I do have a, a watcher right here who's watching the uh, Placid race right now. He's getting it done. He's all into it. He's crunching on his popcorn. So I apologize if you hear a little crunch in the background here. But when I plan everything, I take a piece of paper. This was week 11. This was this past week. It has every day, Monday through Sunday on there with some notes at the bottom. I have my training plan. I know what workouts I need to structure for the week. I'll write on the side here what days I have available, what time slots between life, work, kids, everything like that and then I'll plug in. Make sure you plug in those longer workouts first. They may not always be that Saturday, Sunday like these training plans want. It's just not a perfect world. So some days I'll have to do my long bike on a Thursday. We get it in there. The long run, we ride it in there and then try and fill in as needed after that. I try and structure things so I don't have a double run back to back or bike before another bike day, but it is what it is. It's all about checking the boxes, getting it done, putting in the work, so we're gonna try and catch you up here with week 10. Whatever I had out there, I don't even know if I recorded the board that week of the workouts. We'll see what we have in the footage wise for that. And then we'll get into week 11. I think we took enough video this week to give you a nice idea. It was definitely the biggest week work wise. I believe this is now the third cycle that we're heading into a rest week next week. So we've now built three weeks and a rest three times now. So three work cycles. Things are getting up there time wise, mileage wise. The body's feeling it, but I can also feel the fitness. So next week, all that work we did over the prior three weeks, we're gonna absorb that fitness, recover, make that body strong, and then we're gonna go into the build for Ironman Main 70.3, and then we're gonna rotate that into doing the full Ironman. We'll probably have a video on that later in the week. I'll show you how I'm gonna structure going into Main and then following that up with the full four weeks later. But for now, hopefully you enjoy the video. Get out there, get after it, just remember, balance that life one mile at a time. And I can't wait to see the finisher picks for everybody in Lake Placid. You're motivating me. That's what it's all about. And I'm hoping this motivates you. So get after it and I'll see you out there.
my key stuff. Because uh, I'll fuck it up and then I'll be pissed. <laughs> It's a little chilly, boys.